The gold and black can only mean one thing. The future is here, and the future is now. This is NXT. What have we here, huh? Something told me we would hear from her tonight. Here we go. This could honestly be about a few things. Let's find out. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. This. stop at the end. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And La Cabeza. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the wall, head scissors. She's fighting hard, and it is paying off. when you do commentary. You never see my face or hear you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Eddie Guerrero from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds. The NXT North American Champion, Ali! One of the most exciting competitors in all of WWE. Ali can drop your jaw with some of his mind-blowing offense. to make an impact tonight. If you ask me, I'd say Shane Thorne has a tremendous upside, Cole. Things are about to heat up. Oh, well, we had a feeling this could happen. Ref's going to call it if they don't get into the ring. Yeah, this referee's warning them. The ambush fails. Yeah, good thing, too. Incredible during talent and unstoppable dedication is doing what is right has made Ali an instant favorite for the WWE Universe. Ali hopes to bring everyone together to chase the light. 
And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. What's going to happen here? So God, don't do section. this. Oh, God. Sunset flip into a power bomb. Back now inside the ring. Drop kick. Now he's been poly. Oh, he might get an early three count. And the oh, no. kick out by Shane Thorne. He's not giving up that easy. And it's Ali answering back. Ali bringing the energy. It is all going his way right about now. WrestleMania 34 saw more than 78,000 fans converge on New Orleans. One of the most exciting matches happened earlier on as Ali and Cedric Alexander faced off the crown a new cruiserweight champion. It was a match that saw two close friends reaching for the same dream, Michael. Ali and Cedric Alexander both stopped at nothing to be the one to leave WrestleMania with the cruiserweight title. Going for the hold. All the way for the top. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He's getting beaten up out there, but staying strong. Nice kick out there. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Effectively using the knee. Down with a power bomb. Incredible. Look out. Here we go. Another big move. Oh, my God. Imploding 450. Unreal. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Ali has done it. Man, what a match and what a win. Here is your winner. Guys, that was a big win for him right there. Ali went hard tonight, and he came away with an impressive victory. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. And here we go. Not the first time and probably not the last time we'll hear from him. Man, it's on now. He's not going to keep us waiting, so let's find out. Star. We shall see. Bad blood is a boiling. He's in full control now. The heart of these competitors is showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. What a hit from Alexander. Right on the mark. Elbow drop. Pearson. 
Oh, yeah, here's Cedric Alexander. What a face buster. Super kick. Good night. Cedric with some soul. He's looking relentless. Hooked up. And... This one is being waved off. I guess the match didn't even matter. Oh, come on. That's garbage. It's a Lucha House Party. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Lucha House Party from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Grand Metali. Lucha House Party are always up for having a good time. Look, look, there's Penelope. And they have some noisemakers, too. When it's a Lucha House Party, everyone is invited. How, Even you, Corey. How is a grown man this embarrassing? Seriously, you baffle me. When it comes to the Loser House Party, you can consider my RSVP declined. All right, we'll party without you. Oh, yes, time to get down to business. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. The fact is, Drew Gulak is a skilled mat technician. He pays great attention to detail, especially when it means manipulating the human anatomy. Corey, when it comes to in-your-face action, it doesn't get much better than these guys. Yeah, these guys definitely like to fight, Cole, and I fully expect them to prove that here tonight. It's considered one of the best pure technical competitors and submission specialists in the world today. The man from the city of brotherly love, Drew Gulak, shows no such thing to his opponents in the ring. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxton goes to those discount theme parks, just like he's a discount broadcaster. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, want to go with me, Michael? No, Byron. No chance, ever. We are seeing a next-level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. Oh, nasty impact. Cover! Not yet. Nice armbar stretch. Very painful. That's how you punish your opponent. Measuring. Oh, face stop. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Gulak strategy paying dividends. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. When you're in the ring with a submission specialist like Drew Gulak, how do you maintain the advantage? You've got to be slippery and not let him grapple you. Gulak wants to get to the mat often, so force a stand-up fight. Gulak also hates high-flying offense, so throw some in his face. If you can get him angry, he might start making mistakes. Oh, and it's Gulak turning the tables. And Two, 
He might have been waiting on that one. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Into a chin lock! Oh, man. Gets him with a counter. Whoa, the Southern Lights suplex. And he goes for the pin. And he got a near fall out of it. He's still in this. This isn't going to end well. Whoa, the Southern Lights suplex. You don't see that very often. Here it comes. He's got him. Straight jacket. Oh, and it's Gulak turning the tables. High angle belly of back suplex. Tequila. He's just about there. No, it's not over yet. Wow, part of me thought he was going to tap, Cole. Man, look at the quickness of Gulak right across the face. Bam, what a slap. Uh-uh. First on the shoulder. What's he thinking now? He's thinking he's not finished. He wants to stop the hole in him. Well, this match is over.
Put your hair up and square up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Shamal, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Tremendous attitude, MMA background, punch you right in your face. Yeah, Sonia Deville once said she feels like she was placed on this earth to hurt people. Sonya Deville, she's made history milestones. She competed in the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match, Elimination Chamber match, even the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. The War Goddess. From Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. You can thank Hall of Famer yeah! Booker T for much of Ember Moon's success. Byron, I think these women may be caught off guard a bit by the stellar crowd reaction they're receiving here. I don't know why, Michael. It seems like they get one of the biggest reactions each and every week. You'd think they'd be used to it by now. eager to capture the glory and combat befitting of a war goddess. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too, and, and there's Saxon. I don't know how you got bred. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Plenty of fight left. Not yet. Holy. Oh, I didn't see that coming from Sonya Deville. Boom! I'm not sure I've ever seen a superstar with the incredible drive of Ember Moon. How can she put that fire to work in this match? Ember Moon is laser focused on winning, and that's a huge boost to her in ring confidence. She should take total control of the pace here and never let it go. Oh, targeting the stomach. Go oh, right in the face. She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Great counter. Impressive in ring IQ on display. Well aimed strike. Now in full control. Spinning side slam. And Sonya Deville says, not this time. Boom, what impact. Ooh, what impact. Throat. No one blasts through there. Sonya Deville going for it early. You're not going to get her that easy. She's more durable than she looks, guys. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Sonya Deville going for it early. And there's the kick out. Hey, I guess you never know. Head 
crank. That was nasty. So precise. Oh, I didn't see that coming from Sonya Deville. And she's taken down to the mat. So precise. Got the up. Uh, to the arm. Terrible. Turn that one around. Oh, look at this. This is unique. An arm triangle submission. She's got her where she wants her. She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. Big takedown right there. This superstar was out of this match, but apparently not. What a comeback! And Ember Moon tries the early cover. And an easy kick out from Sonya Deville. Not even close. Hold on. She wants to take this one to the floor. Looking defenseless right now. She's got to get back in the ring, Michael. Oh, stomping away. And Ember Moon, too quick. Bringing it back into the ring. And she almost found herself counted out there. Nobody wants to see this match end like that, Michael. And the ropes will break this one up. Looks like she's got a new lease on life here, Cole. Can she capitalize? The WWE Universe has come alive in this one. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. And Sonya Deville says, not this time. And a sliding knee strike. Using the ropes. Spring. And this has got to be it.
Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. The black-hearted Tommaso Ciampa, back where it all began in NXT. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Had a tremendous relationship with longtime best friend Johnny Gargano before he decided that championships were more important than friendship. It was then and only then I realized how intelligent Tommaso Ciampa truly is. It's not about friendships, it's about making money and winning titles. Yeah, Ciampa had no problem allowing his selfish desires to rise to the forefront. His selfish desires are what propelled Tommaso Ciampa to the position that he's in today. Complete and utter contempt for the NXT universe. Oh, believe me, the feeling is mutual. I wonder what the legendary Harley Race, the man who trained Tomasa Ciampa, thinks about his attitude today. Harley Race is a tough guy, one of the toughest to ever do this. I'm sure Harley's very proud of what Ciampa's accomplished. Say hello to the top 1% of WWE. And his opponent weighing in at 231 pounds, EC3. He's had a bit of trouble adapting to the main roster, but EC3 remains in amazing shape. He's in the top 1% of conditioning. EC3's been quoted as saying, to be the man, you have to beat this tan. He's in the top 1% of tanning. EC3 finally won a title in WWE when he became 24-7 champion. He's in the top 1% of 24-7 champions. Tremendous ass. What's going on here? Oh. Superplex! You have the sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. The vicious, remorseless, unforgiving Tommaso Ciampa. He will do whatever it takes to win, which often pushes his opponents to do the same thing, usually to disastrous results for all those involved. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxton goes to those discount theme parks, just like he's a discount broadcaster. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, want to go with me, Michael? No, Byron. No chance. Ever.
Close quarters, knee strike. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Seven. Back in from the floor. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. Yikes. And here we go, Tommaso Ciampa with the cover. Two, three, three. Tommaso Ciampa wins. Tommaso Ciampa wins. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa. He earned every bit of that victory here tonight. Ciampa wins here tonight, but he'll never feel good about what he's done to get here. I don't think any of us could have asked for a better way to close the night. Good night, everybody.